I love a lemon lime ice, a little tequila for the adults. And we're gonna get started making the ice. It takes about two, two and a half hours in the freezer to freeze before you can grind it into kind of a dessert or an appetizer, depending on the weather. All right, so to get started, we're gonna zest some limes. Now this whole menu uses a ton of lime juice. So I'm gonna get all that lime juice and zest at the beginning so that we can add it as we go along. So I'm just gonna use a microplane zester here. And we only need about a quarter teaspoon of the zest. And again, I'm just taking that zest on the outside. I'm not getting any of that white pith. That white pith is pretty bitter tasting. You only need about a quarter teaspoon of zest. Set that aside. Now the fun part, we're gonna make a ton of lime juice. You know, for most days, if I just need a little juice, I use one of these, just a simple citrus press. But if you need a lot of juice, I pull out the big guns. I bought this for my daughter actually because she loves to make lemonade. This thing is not very expensive, but very helpful if you need to make a lot of juice. So I'm guessing I'm gonna need about four limes. You see how I'm rolling it? That just helps break open the pulp on the inside so that you get a bit more juice out of it. And if it's in the winter time and everything's cold, pop them in a warm oven for a little bit. Again, just helps the juice flow a bit better. All right, so here we go. I like to get every drop of juice out. It needs to look like that at the end. It needs to be desiccated on the inside. All right, let's see how much we've got here. Now we need half a cup for the lemon lime ice. Perfect, half a cup. All right, this goes in a big measuring cup. These go in the sink because I love how it makes the disposal smell. On to the lemons. We need half a cup of lemon juice. I'm guessing that's about three lemons, they're about. These lemons look good and juicy. All right, okay. Love this thing because it spins both ways and it really rings out the lemons and limes perfectly. Let's see where we're at here. Perfect. All right. So that was half a cup of lime juice, half a cup of lemon juice. Got one half lemon left over. Save that for later. Now we're gonna add a little bit of sugar, a cup of sugar. I guess it's not a little bit of sugar. I mean, it is an ice, which is kind of a dessert thing anyway. Cup of granulated sugar, pinch of salt, Last but not least, I'm gonna add some water to this. We need two and a quarter cups of water, and I'm gonna be fussy. I'm using spring water. Now you can use filtered water, but don't just use water from the tap because any of those off flavors will definitely show up in the final ice. So, two and a quarter cups of water. Mm, there's two cups. Another quarter cup. All right, there we go. And that's it. That's everything you need to make a lemon lime ice. Now, I mentioned, <laughs> if you're listening, I was gonna add a little tequila for the adults. But because I make this for large groups and it makes a good amount of ice, I like to make half of it without the tequila just in case some folks or the kids don't want it. The tequila also does change the texture of the final ice. It makes it finer, which is really nice. Some people also use vodka because it has less of a flavor, but creates that final texture. All right, so I'm just dissolving all that sugar and the salt. Oh, it smells good. All right, there's lots of ways to make ice. Now, you can pour it in a bowl and you can stir it constantly, which is not my idea of fun. Or you can use ice cube trays, which is my idea of fun, uh, because you can leave them in the refrigerator for days and then you just make as much as you want to in the food processor. Now, I know this, <laughs> this is a pretty cool thing. This is an ice cube tray with a lid on it and uh, it doesn't spill things as much. And even if it's on its side in the freezer, it doesn't spill all over. So these are my preferred ice cube trays. Now I'm just gonna fill, the, fill them very carefully. And once you get the hang of making these ices, it's so easy to make them any flavor you want. Lemon ice is always an obvious one. Lemon strawberry ice is fun. And if you like the idea of putting some liquor in it, Grand Marnier, peach schnapps, they all are fun in ice. And you can add herbs. You can make a lemon lavender ice if you like. Lots of options. All right, so those are the ones without the tequila, now for the tequila. You only really need about a tablespoon or two, about two tablespoons for the full batch. This is about half a batch. So I'm gonna add just that and that for good luck. And whisk that in. And here are the tequila ice. 
One thing I found out the hard way is that uh, you should totally mark which ones have the tequila in it because it's really hard to tell otherwise. So I've learned to put just a sticker on the ones with the tequila. Sometimes I write a T on there, just as a reminder. T. All right. So these go in the freezer. And again, you need to freeze these for at least two and a half hours, but they store easily for up to five days. After that, they start to pick up some of the off flavors of the freezer. So best use basically within a week. Now the trick is it's ice, right? So it melts really fast. And we're gonna blend those cubes up in the food processor to make that nice slushy consistency. But to help keep things cold, I put the bowl of the food processor and the blade in the freezer. So let me get those. All right, nice and cold. So now, gonna pop those ice cubes out right into the food processor. They're not like ice cubes, they're like sticky ice cubes. That's perfect. All right. And now this gets a little loud. It's like making a margarita, right? It gets a little loud, but it's so worth it. So bear with me as I pulse this to a nice icy consistency. Oh, that is perfect. And again, this is classically a dessert. You know, you think lemon ice uh, it would be a dessert, but I find in the summer, if it's really hot, it is a lovely appetizer or just to serve it with the meal. Just cools everybody down. If you're so inclined, you could do a little topper or floater as they call it. Just pour a little tequila or something over the top, if you should so desire. All right, that's two big glasses. I don't know why I got four glasses. It's just me and Greer. And there you have it, lemon lime tequila ice. It has such a good texture. It's like snow, but it's lemon lime tequila snow, a little tequila wink at the end. <laughs> Killer lime tequila ice. Thanks for watching. What'd you think? Leave a comment below and let me know what you're excited to cook this week. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button. You can get today's recipes and more for free at our website, americastestkitchen.com slash Julia at home.